Hi everybody, today I'm going to play a game called Wayward. This art, uh, game is actually made by Bruce Hurst, and he's the creator of Hurst Arts uh, mold, Castle Molds. And basically you, uh, they're molds that you uh, can use for wargaming or hob, uh, you know, if you had any type of miniatures that you wanted to set dioramas for. Uh, so this is a game that's uh, custom made by him, and I believe he drew the this gorgeous map. Uh, I'm going to play a solo game today. So generally in the game, when you don't play solo, uh, once this kind of marker starts at 100 points, and when somebody passes the gate in the amount of gold they've collected, then the it triggers the last game. There's one more turn in the game, and whoever gets out of the dungeon, which is over here, this is the dungeon exit. Whoever gets out of the dungeon in time uh, and whoever has the most gold at the end of the game will win, generally. So in this solo game, instead, I play for 12 turns. So the first thing that you do when you uh, play the game is we're going to roll a die. And we've got a six, and that means I'm going to set up for location number six on the board, which I think is over here. And this is called the... Uh, it kind of is a room where it's uh, it's actually better for multiplayer uh, for multiplayer because that room is called the god of something the god of gold but because there's no other player there um, it's not really going to help me now okay so I have 12 actions in a turn to uh, to do and to do, I'm just counting them out here for six, eight, 10, 12. It is possible, however, for me to get extra actions throughout a turn. Okay, and we'll kind of go through, and uh, so this will be turn number one, and I have 12, 12 turns to try to get to 100 gold. So basically what I'm going to do here, I'm gonna start out by uh, just going here, and I'm gonna pick up $2. So what that means is on this money track over here, I'm gonna go up by two. And that's my first action. Now, when I place a token in a room, I can't place, I can't pick up items again. And in order to move out of the room, I have to, uh, I have to put a chit here, and then I can move to either, I, I can't go to this room because I don't have a weapon yet. So I'm gonna go to here, and then I'm gonna pick up a shield. So I put a, a token down to pick up a, because it's got a shield on the on the board here. That means I'm going to pick up a shield, and when I do that, I take transfer over to my player board, and that means I've got one armor right now. Alright, to move out of that room, I'm going to have to put another token, and I think I'm going to go to... I really want to go pick up an axe, but I'll go here, and then I'm going to put a token here, which lets me get three more gold. So I'm going to go over here, so from the two, one, two, three, I'm now at five gold. And I'm trying to do this as best as I can with my uh, GoPro, but I'm not very good at, uh, I'm not a cin cinematographer. I can't go on the docks because I need a guild token in order to do that. So I'm going to put a token here to move back there, and then I'm going to go into this room here. Now this here means it's a locked gate. So a locked gate, I would need key number two. I don't currently have a key number two. So I'm gonna move, um, I'm gonna move straight into this room here. I'm gonna ignore the $2. I'm gonna then go into this room here and then I'm going to pick up. So here I have an ax and a guild token. So again on my sheet, I'm gonna take a weapon and I get a guild token, and that lets me move along the docks now. All right, let's see where are we at here. I'm gonna, um, I can't pick up items again, so I'm gonna go here to move here. And um, the next thing I think I'm going to do is, you know what, I'm gonna just back up. Before I did that, I'm gonna spend a turn, before I moved, I'll just spend a turn to take two gold. Okay, so I'm at, I end the turn at seven gold, and I go to turn number two. And the cool thing is we've got this magnetic device here, and that lets me pick up all my tokens. So I'm in turn number two, and I got seven gold. All right, so let's see where I can start here. So I'm, uh, so I, I, 
believe I ended up still in that room. So I'm going to go here. Now I already have a guild token, so I can't take another one, but I'm going to pick up another axe. So here, I'm at two axes now. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is go to here, move there. And I only have one armor so far. I'm going to try to cross the rickety bridge. Okay, so when I do that, I roll three dice. I've got four goods currently. Roll the die on the floor. So anyways, I rolled, a, I rolled an eight total. So I can have up to eight items. Otherwise, I, I got to lose stuff in order to cross the bridge. But I only have four, so I'm okay. So I'm into this uh, fighting pit room. Now when I'm in a fighting pit room, I can try to fight one of these uh, one of these guardsmen for gold. Now I can I if I fail, however, I lose all my weapons. Uh, I don't have a reroll. Uh, so a, a gray number means that I can I can roll. Okay, so I have two weapons. So I have one weapon in each hand. So I can roll up to two dice. And then I can take the highest total if I'm on a gray. If I take a red, if I go after a, uh, one of these um, uh, fighters that is in red, I'd roll my two dice and I need a seven or eight, at least that to, to equal or beat to win the fight. Uh, so more reward, of course. I'm gonna go and play odds here. I'm gonna go to the four and I'm, I've got two dice. So I'm gonna, I have two weapons. So I'm going to roll two dice. And I got a five and a two. Now, if I would have got any one, I would have broke one of my weapons. So I didn't get that. I got the five, which exceeds the four. So I would, I'm gonna, as long as I can leave this room and I haven't been kicked out of the room, I can, or haven't lost my weapons, I can, uh, I can try another, uh, another fight. And I'm going to here. So again, I'm gonna roll two dice, and I need to get at least a three. And I got a six and a three. So I've collected eight gold there. So now I'm going to leave the room and I'm going to go into there. And as soon as I leave the room, I'm going to get eight gold. So I was at seven, I go to 15. Okay, I got to get some locks here and I got to get a tarot card maybe. Okay, I don't have, in order to use these passages over here, you have to, uh, you have, to have a, t a torch and I don't currently have a torch. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna move out of this room and go into here, and then from this room here. Oh, um, from this room here, I can try to fight this guard to get. This is a tarot card, and that gives me a reroll. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to fight the guard. I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use just one die, and I got a six, so I get in, and now I'm gonna pick up a tarot card. So when I pick up a tarot card, it gives me a reroll here. So I'm going to put my blue tokens. Now, you know, it might have noticed that there's some black tokens as well. The black tokens are cursed items. So if you ever become cursed, that's what happens. Okay, I'm going to place it, put a token here to go into there. And then I'm going to put a token in here. And I'm going to crawl under this room here and go into this room here. And then I'm going to put in a token to try to fight this guard. And I'm going to use both dice. So again, I've got two, two weapons. So I'm going to use both of them. And I got a two and a three. So again, I didn't break a weapon. The three beats equal. Okay, so I'm gonna go into here. And man, I haven't picked up hardly any gold here. Uh, oh shoot, I didn't have the right key. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, so be it, I guess. I'm gonna go here and pick up three gold. That takes me to 27. And then I'm going to, I didn't notice that uh, come out and go into this room right here. So I'll put this here so hopefully you can see that. I am on turn five and I only have 27 gold so Here, 
Uh, I think I can get... I can get lockpick number one, so let's do that. I'm going to go here. Oh, but if I go in there, I'm going to lose two armor. Sure. Okay. So in here, I'm going to move into here. See the screen number here? That means that whenever you encounter something with green or pass through it, you lose that many armor chits. So I'm going to lose two armor. And I'm on turn five here. Okay, from here I'm going to pick up a one lock and two gold. So I've got the one and two locks now. And two gold, which takes me to 29. I'm going to go out of here. I'm going to go out of here and I'm going to go past the guard. Now when I get into the squid room, I believe I have to roll a die. And uh, to see if they... It's a river squid. To see if I lose a random item. So if I get a 1 or a 2, I lose something. I got a 5, so I managed to avoid his tentacles. Or her tentacles. Okay, so I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go over to here. And uh, I don't have a tarot card currently, which sucks. But I can get one by going through that chamber. So let's try to do that. I'm going to pass into this. Now, in this room here, it's got a number of skulls. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to do it so that there's no glare. So there's a number of skulls. I can, I can visit each of these sections. and. Uh, if I fail, I'm going to get a cursed item. So I would like to get my third key, I think. So I'm going to go here, and I roll a die, and there's three skulls, which means that I need to get a four higher, or I get a cursed item. I got a six, so I managed to pick up my key. So that's key number three. I don't need a, a, a weapon because I already have three. I'm going to try for seven gold. So this time I'm going to roll a die, and I need... a, a uh, higher than a two, I believe. So again, I got a five, so I'm going to get seven gold. So that's 29 takes me to 36. That's all I really wanted to get from that room. So I think I did well there. Uh, really well, actually. So I'm going to come out of this room and I'm going to go into here. And then I'm going to go in to try to defeat this guard here. It's a tarot card, which is good. And it's going to be four gold. So I'm going to roll two dice. I got a three and a one. So because I got a one, I didn't I didn't get past the guard. And I managed to break one of my weapons. So my spare is broken now. I can try to get through the guard again. So I'm going to. And I'm going to roll two dice because I still have two weapons. And this time I got sixes, so I'm in. I'm going to go here, which is four gold. It takes me to 40. And I also get a tarot card. So I'll put a chip for a tarot card on my sheet. And the last thing that I'll do is, you know what, I think I'll waste an action and just stay where I am, because four gold's a pretty good pickup. All right, and I move on to turn six. Now, in, a, in addition to getting 100 gold, I also have to, yeah, in addition to get 100 gold, I also have to get out of the dungeon. Okay, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to pick up four gold, so that takes me to 44. I'm going to place a token to get out of the room. Oh, I can't get through this way. Okay, so I'm going to have to go back into the, this crypt room, so I will. And you know what? I might as well try it again. I'm going to roll a die, and I need higher than a two. Okay, I got a one, so I believe... I get a random cursed item. So in order to do that, um, I roll a die to see which it is. So it's five, it's gonna be an accessory. And then I roll again. If it's a one, it's gonna be a torch, token, tarot card, or hourglass. You know what? I might as well, before I do that, I might as well use my tarot card to re-roll that one. Okay, but I got another one. Okay, so I'll keep the five. And then uh, I gotta see again what it is. It's number three. So my tarot card is cursed. It counts as an object that I'm carrying when I cross a rickety bridge. But I cannot have a re-roll, which is, eh, sucks, but oh well, what, do you, what happens? Okay, I'm going to go to here and go into this room. 
and from here I'm gonna go into this room here and then from here what um, so I will encounter the alligators if I try to get through into this room here or maybe I have to encounter that nope it's only when I pass through this this door here so I have all three keys so I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna go and pick up 12 bucks actually yeah I'll pick up $12 because I've got all three keys so I'm at 44 that takes me to 56 I've still got quite a few tokens so I'm gonna head out of this room uh, oh I don't have I don't have the two shields any longer oh boy uh, I was hoping to get through here but I don't have two armor so I gotta go back I'll go here into this room and then I'm gonna go into this room and then I'm gonna pick up a shield so that takes me back to I have two shields now that's the end of my turn so I'm on turn seven I'll move these here and I'm gonna use the pickup tool I don't know where I put it all right turn seven and I'm at fifty six dollars so far so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a shield. So that gives me my third shield. In order to escape this room, I could use my guild token to take the take the boat to any of the other locations on the board. But uh, you know what? I think I'm going to... I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to actually just try to get past this guard here. So I've got two weapons. So I'm going to roll and i got to get seven. Not 11, so I'm good. And from here, I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm gonna go and drop down into this kind of crypt area here. So as you can see, it's got a whole bunch of values. So you roll three dice when you drop down. And now I can use any combination of these three um, of the numbers that I have. So I could use one nine, I could use a one and a four. I can't duplicate anything, or I could use a one and a five. Or a five and a four so a five gets me a torch which i have already in two gold or beats this so i'm able to go into this room and i can't pick up the gold because i have no more tokens so that ends my turn two so after two turn turn two i have 15 uh gold so far and again my my goal is to get to 100 so it, I have never tried a solo game. I usually play this with other people and you know a lot of people really enjoy this game. It's 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 light, it's not heavy and it's super fun. The the board is busy. It's trying to cool to see, you know, what pattern should we be should we be moving. Okay. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is collect 4 gold. So that takes me to 19. And then I'm going to leave the room. When I when you leave and you kind of go past the gourd, like you go from behind you don't have to fight the guard again. So I'll go there. I think I'm gonna go next into this room here. And then I'm going to pick up this ax here. So now I have three weapons. So I've got a spare in case I break one. I'm, from here, I'm gonna go into this room right here. And I'm gonna now pick up a second, um, a second shield, or sorry, armor. So again, my character sheet now looks like this. Okay, where do I want to go from here? Uh, you know, this is a pretty cool room, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to go into here, and I'm now going to try to fight the guard. So it's, it, this guard's a tougher one. He's a five, and I'm going to roll two dice again. So I got a five and a four. I've been pretty lucky so far. So I get into this, this room, and now I'm going to pick up all the stuff that's in here. So tarot card I already have, but now I get the two key. So the two key is going to let me open any uh, room, any room that has a generic key value. So I don't know if you can see this right here. This is generic, and see this one here. This has got a combination. So you have a keys of one, two, and three, and you can only have one key of each. So if this, this, the only, the only way those two keys can make a four is with a key number one and a key number three. So that's the only way to enter that room. If I go over here, this is a key, this only you need only the key three to get through that one, and then over here, this has got five, so this would be the two and the three key there. All right, and uh, I also get two gold. Did I take two gold? 
Uh, and I, no, I took the two. I don't think I took it. I think I was at 19. I may have just cheated, but I'm not going to go back through the video footage yet. Okay, so I'm going to get out of this room by putting the token to go back here. And, uh, you know, I think it's time to... How do I get the... I can get a torch over there, and the torch is going to let me kind of move. You know what, though? I'm going to go just this way. So I'm going to head this way and back into this room. And I can't pick up the armor because uh, because I've already there's already a token in this room here. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna cross the rickety bridge. I think I'm just gonna waste my last token because I want to pick up the last armor here. So I'm gonna now go to turn four, and again I'm gonna pick up all these things, and. I'm at 19, um, sorry, I'm at 21. I might only be at 19 though. I might have screwed that up. I'm at 21 for value here. Okay, so hopefully you can see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tr pick up this armor. So that gives me three armor. And then I'm going to put this and try to cross the rickety bridge. So this says I've got five, which is awful <clears throat> because I actually have got six, seven, eight, nine. I'd have to lose three things. I don't want to do that. I'm going to use my tarot card to re-roll one of my dice. And this time now I've got, uh, not, I've got actually nine. So I've now got eight items. So I'm, I'm good to cross the bridge. All right, where do we want to go from here? I think go into this area here and start exploring. Hopefully you can see my guy here. All right, but which way do I want to go? I have a key that can get me a torch. This can get me five bucks, but I have three armor. So I think I want to get it over into this coffin area or um, go somewhere where I can get, there's, there's a place on the board where I can, where it's got 12 right here if you have three armor. But of course you need, okay, I'm gonna head this way here. I'm gonna go here and from here, I'm gonna go into the, you know what? I'll go into this room here. And then from here, I'm gonna go into here and then I'm going to pick up three gold and a torch. So now I have a torch and then three more gold. So that takes me to 24. It takes me one to get out of here. Um, where do I want to go next here? Okay, up from here, I'm going to go into this room here. I don't need the guild token, I already have one, so I'm going to go into here. And I'm now going to try to take, you know what, there's no point in trying to steal from the guards. Because I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't have a lot of, I have a lot of stuff already. Um, an eight gets me a, an hourglass. I think I'm going to uh, use an eight to get the hourglass, because that gets me six extra actions. And then I'm going to use the one, which gets me, uh, picks up, lets me pick up my uh, third weapon here. Okay, so that's that room, how that room works. And from here, I'm going to exit it. Okay, I think I want to head straight over here into this room. And from here, I'm going to go into the dragon's room here. So the dragon's room, when you're here, I can pay a chit, and if I do, I'm going to roll a die, and if I get a 1 or a 2, the dragon uh, is going to chase me out and I get no, no gold. If I get anything else, I'll get 3 gold. So I've got a 6, so I have 3 gold so far. If the dragon hasn't woke up, I can stay in the room and try it again. I shall. So I'm going to roll again, and I got a 1 or a 2 this time, and I, I don't have a way to... Uh, to re-roll because my tarot card's gone. So the dragon actually kicks me out and I get nothing, which sucks, but oh well. Okay, from here, I'm gonna go over into this room here, and then I'm gonna collect the five gold that's there, which takes me to 61. And then I'm going to leave this room 
and I think I'm gonna go back into the dragon's room for my final uh, for my final thing this turn. Okay, so we are on turn eight out of uh, ten, and I'm nowhere near my goal here, so I might be in trouble. Okay, so I'll go here and roll. I got a two. I'm kicked out. So the next thing, I think I want to get over to this room here. So I'm going to go into here. When I go into the watcher room, I would roll a die. And that's going to reduce the gate value by five points. So this would go one, two, three, four, five. But it says that we don't do that during the solo game. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess you could. It doesn't really matter. And I believe um, that happens as soon as I go into the room. I could take the $2. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'd rather have a chit. So I'm going to move out and go into here. And then I'm going to move into this room. That's going to take, uh, get rid, there's a, a dragon or something, some kind of monster there. So it's going to get rid of my three armor. But it, as you can see, it's going to give me 12, gives me 12 gold. So I'm going to go from 61 to 73. And I have to put a chip there. So to move out of that room, I'm going to go here. And... side. Well, I want to, I think I want to go back to that guard room. So, or I could try to take, uh, try to go back into that coffin room. I think I'm going to take my guild token. So I'm going to remove my guild token and I'm going to use the docks. And I'm going to head over to back to this area here. All right. And then from here, I'm going to pick up another armor. And then I'm going to try to leave through that uh, guy there. So I've got three weapons. I'll roll two. I need to get seven or higher. I did. Uh, so I managed to get through. But because I rolled a one, I'm going to lose one of my weapons, which I've done. And from here, I'm going to drop down again into there. And I'm going to roll three dice. And I'm hoping for high so that I can get lots of gold. And I ended up getting a 12. So the highest number on here is a, is a 10. So, or sorry, the 12 lets me get 10 gold. And I think, is that the best I can do? A 5, number 5 gets me 2 and a, a torch. I don't need that. The 4 gets me 1 and a shield. That's pretty cool. But I think I'm just going to take uh, use all 3 dice and take the, the 10, 10 gold and, and the time. And the time travel so I'm gonna immediately use the time travel so I'm gonna when I do you get six extra actions and then I'm gonna take and replace the chin because I already had it here I'm gonna use the hourglass and then I'm gonna get it right back so I'm gonna take the six extra actions this turn okay and 10 gold I think I moved it to 73 uh, I hope that I did this turn um, okay, so now I'm going to use some blue chits to go there. So I'm going to go here. And I think from here I'm going to go sneak behind the guard and go into this room here. And then I think I'm going to go into this room here and pick up five gold, which takes me from 73 to 78. Okay, then I got to get out of the room. And from here, ooh, that's going to be a tough, uh, that's going to be a tough bridge to cross. Well, whatever. I'll go here, and uh, I can't pick up the two gold because I have a token there already, so I'll go to here, and I'm going to attempt to cross the rickety bridge with my last action. So I'm going to roll three dice. And I got 12, and I don't have 12 items, so I'm able to cross through into the fighting pit. So I'm back there. And hopefully this gives you a good sense. Sorry about that. Camera angle. 
gives you a good sense of how Wayward's played. And again, I just I really find this game to be great. Um, it's so unique. Um, one of my friends played last night. He said that it's it's kind of similar to. He reminded him a lot of the old TSR game Dungeon. Um, I don't really see the similarity. Maybe a little bit, but uh, that's okay. All right, so I've got two weapons only, but I might as well try it. I might as well try to get some more gold here because uh, I'm on turn nine and I have to get, let's see here, I'm on turn nine and I'm only at 78 gold. I have to get 22 gold. I have to get 22 gold, but I'm gonna lose both my weapons if I lose that. So, you know what, I'm gonna try here yeah, let's do it. We'll try for the 10 gold. Um, you know, go big or go home, I guess. So I gotta roll two dice, I gotta get higher than eight. I got an 11. So if I leave, I get 10 gold. I think... Oh, man, this might be the wrong thing to do, but I think I'm gonna try to fight this guy here. And I'm gonna use my two good dice, and again, I need a three or higher. Okay, I broke a weapon, but I ended up getting three more. So I'm down to one weapon, and I'll keep my right hand. And uh, so I'm at 13 gold, so I'll spend a token to leave the fighting pit. And that takes me to 13 more gold. So uh, 78 is 88 is 10. And another three takes me to 91. Can I get there? I think I can. I think I... Oh, shoot. You know what? Instead of going there, I'm going to head over to this area here. I got all the keys. And then I'm going to pick up eight more gold. So that takes me from uh, 91 to 99. I'm, I'm doing this out of order, unfortunately. Sorry about that, everybody. So I'm going to go back here. Um, and then I've already paid my one to... Uh, no, I gotta pay another to get out. And then from here, I'm at, I need only one more gold. So I might as well take the two. So that takes me to 101. Then um, I'm gonna go into here. And I'll pick up three more gold and a shield. So that takes me to two armor. And three more gold is gonna take me to 104. I'm going to leave the room, and uh, I can get out with the keys. So again, you have to, to get out of the out of the, the dungeon, you, you have to kind of escape, and there's, there's a couple ways. You can escape with keys, you have to have all three. You can escape with uh, trying to, to beat the guard, so you need to roll an eight on two dice. Or you can escape over here, I don't know if you can see it over here where you go through a series of trials. If you hit a flame, you have to lose an armor or you fall down to the lower area. So, um, it, yeah, so, and if you get out, you get 10 more gold. So you, you need a series of luck to do that. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so I have, uh, I have a couple more actions here. So I think I went here to move out of this room. I think I gotta put another thing down. I'll go into this room. I have two armor, so I might as well go get that. Well, that wasn't there. So I'm going to go from here to here into this room here, and that's going to end. You know what? I'm going to do another time travel. So I'll play my hourglass to take six more actions. Six. I'll go here and I'll pick up seven more gold. That takes me to 111. I'll go here to get out. Uh, there's no gold there, so that's not really good. here. Uh, 
Okay, I think I'll go underneath into this room here. And from here, I think I'll fight this guard. So I need, I only have one weapon. I need to get a three or higher. I rolled a two, so I lose, I, I don't do it. I'm gonna try it again. Again, I need a three or higher. I rolled a one, so I lost my last weapon. Okay, so from here, I have two armor. So I'm gonna head into here, lose my last two armor. And that ends my extra turns. I think I could have made some more gold that turn, but that's okay. Okay. So technically I've won the solo game already. Uh, for, so I have one more turn, so I've got 10 more actions potentially. So let's, let's take care of them and see if we can exit the dungeon here. So... All right, so I'm here, so I'm going to start by picking up $5. That takes me from 111 to 116. And from here, I'll leave the room, I guess. And from here, i got to get out as well. I'll go underneath this little staircase into this room here. And from here, I'm going to go into this room here. I'm going to pick up seven more dollars. So that's 116 to 119. And from here, I'll get out here. Okay, do I have enough? Do I have enough spaces? Yeah, hopefully. Okay, I go here into this room. Oh. I screwed up. Oh no, I can't, oh yeah, sorry, from this, yeah, I screwed up, uh, because I don't have a way to get back into this room here, uh, without, hmm. so when I was in he this room here, I had to actually leave. Well, I guess I screwed up. But anyways, that's uh, then from here, I could use the keys. And then one more uh, token will let me get out. But that's how uh, you play Wayward. <laughs> Sorry for the abysmal finish. But again, the, the map is completely gorgeous. Um, you know, and there's also the, the cool thing about the map is it's double sided. So, it, you know, after playing this version, you can play a, a little bit more complicated city version as well. So uh, thank you, Bruce Hertz, for this game. I really, you know, hopefully someday you'll make another map, you know, or another double-sided map because I think it would be good. And this is a game, you know, it, it's tough to ship because it comes in this round tube. So maybe a little bit more expensive for shipping that you would normally have. And the and the and this map's pretty big, so you need a fairly good-sized table to... Uh, to hold the game but i'll tell you what it, if you like dungeon crawls uh and you like board games this is a this is a uh, an easy buy and uh i'd recommend everybody to hit up bruce arts it's i think brucearts.com or if you search her starts molds i think you'll find it on his website thanks very much for watching it's celtic griffin and ticker